Hi friends, good morning. It's Wednesday again and I'm glad for another opportunity to just connect with you here in the middle of another week. My name is John Tracy and I actually want to do something a little bit different today from what we typically do for our midweek morning encouragement routine. I've been thinking a lot about Isaiah chapter 55 verse 10 where the Bible says this, for as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return there but water the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. What a beautiful picture that is and such a great reminder that God's word never returns to him empty. It always succeeds at nourishing and providing for and feeding God's people. The Bible literally is the daily sustenance that we need as Christians to stabilize and settle our hearts in a world that is filled with doubt and fear and one that is constantly changing. So today I just want to take a few moments and literally breathe in the Word of God together. So if possible, try to find yourself a quiet spot, uh, maybe one in a, in a different room from your family or just step outside for a few minutes or maybe even want to just wait and put this video on in your car when you can be quiet and alone. But do what you can to, to get still and not be distracted so that your heart and mind can be open to receive uh, these precious promises from God as I read them over your life. Uh, the passages that I've selected were specifically chosen with those of you in mind who may be struggling with fear or anxiety or uncertainty about your life right now or maybe even in the future. And so in the same way that Isaiah described the word of the Lord as rain that falls from the sky to saturate the earth and provide nourishment, I'm hoping that you'll uh, let the scripture wash over you right now and provide that same kind of life-giving, soul-refreshing nourishment uh, for the things that you have to face in the days ahead. Child of God, receive this truth as God's personal promises to you. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you, in God, whose word I praise. In God I trust and am not afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand, and we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. It enters the inner sanctuary behind the curtain where our forerunner Jesus has entered on our behalf. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people and his incomparably great power for us who believe. That power is the same as the mighty strength he exerted when he raised Christ from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realms, far above all rule and authority, power and dominion, and every name that is invoked, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. But the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. Peacemakers who sow in peace reap a harvest of righteousness. Teach me your way, Lord, that I may rely on your faithfulness. Give me an undivided heart that I may fear your name. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. You will keep him in perfect peace, those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you. 
He will never leave you nor forsake you. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion, therefore I will wait for him. The Lord is good to those whose hope is in him, to the one who seeks him. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. But God will never forget the needy. The hope of the afflicted will never perish. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Blessed are those who find wisdom, those who gain understanding, for she is more profitable than silver and yields better returns than gold. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand. In her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her. Those who hold her fast will be blessed. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. But now in Christ Jesus, you who were once far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ, for he himself is our peace. No one who hopes in you will ever be put to shame, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. You are my refuge and my shield. I have put my hope in your word. I saw the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest in hope because you will not abandon me to the realm of the dead. You will not let your holy ones see decay. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his namesake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with all of you. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. 
Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled. And do not be afraid. Though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken, nor my covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord, who has compassion on you. Nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to it. I will heal my people and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow? They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. I took you from the ends of the earth, from its farthest corners I called you. I said, you are my servant. I have chosen you and have not rejected you. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I have told you these things, so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Amen. Hey, let me just encourage you to take a moment real quick before you rush back into all the pressures and burdens that you're probably going to face this day. Uh, to just seal these words of truth in your heart. Just bow your head right now and thank God for these great and precious promises. Ask Him to guard your heart and your mind today in Christ Jesus, that you would just be increasingly aware of His presence with you, but also His disposition toward you in all the various seasons of your life. Thank Him for protection and wisdom and provision and faith and a secure future. And just ask Him to press these things ever more to the forefront of your life until they just flow out of you in joy and peace patience, gratitude, even in the most difficult of times. I'm so glad that we were able to spend these few moments together. And I hope your soul was refreshed and encouraged and uh, nourished. I'm praying that God will continue to use his word to shower you with grace as you start another day. I'll see you again next Wednesday for Midweek Morning Encouragement.